Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, today we're cleaning out the shop a little bit, um, moving some stuff around. I have a very small um, workspace, but I'm thankful for it. Uh, we got the red truck over here. It is freezing out here this morning. It's like 21 degrees this morning. Um, red truck's gonna be moved over to this bay. Sorry, Andrea, you're getting kicked out for a couple days. And we're gonna move the new truck right over here new truck you say well I guess I kind of showed you a teaser in my shorts but I haven't really done a video on it yet so let's check it out if you watched my short the other day you saw this beauty this is our new project it's a 1984 one owner f-250 with the grandpa package two-wheel drive it has a c6 uh, automatic transmission and a 6.9 liter diesel international it's uh, basically stock well maintained but has sat for a few years the owner was elderly and hasn't been driving it for a long time if you look at the tag this is the uh, 175 horsepower version so it's the higher um, power. This is towards the end, I believe, of the 6.9s. I don't know, I'm learning about them. Um, but it's pretty much complete. Uh, it's got some oil leaks and the glow plug harness needs some work. Um, but other than that, this truck is clean. The underside looks amazing. All the uh, bed cross members and body mounts, things like that. It's in very solid shape. It had a fifth wheel. Um, plate mounted in it one of the large uh, like horseshoe style hitches the guy pulled a camper with it hence the wing and these awesome curtains um, so some neat features it's got 16 inch wheels needs cleaned up I haven't done a thing to it and uh, it was an original diesel it's got all the emblems it's in really good good shape no rust on the tailgate or the bed I mean it was obviously used um, that's why the paint's not <laughs> a little scratched up, but as far as rust goes, this truck is clean. Uh, it has the bed plug for the fifth wheel trailer, and he has this <laughs> interesting, he had an air chuck set up for an auxiliary fuel tank. So this already has dual tanks. Uh, the story I got with it was he drove this to Alaska and then all over the United States camping. The interior is retro, but in extremely good condition. And it has the, the curtains. I just can't get over the curtains. It has a little rumble seat in the back. And lap belt. I'm going to step in here out of the cold. Ugh. The door's all shut really good. Everything so far I've seen works. Uh, the battery tie downs are there. Power windows, power locks. So, what am I going to do with this truck? Well, stick around. We're going to go through and change a whole bunch of the gaskets in the engine. I have a full kit coming. Uh, the worst thing about this truck is it's just been sitting since 2015. It's had about 30 miles on it, according to the inspection sticker. So, I'm going to go through the whole thing, get it running good, put it on the road. I'm hoping to learn a lot. I love working on different vehicles and finding all the little quirks and ins and outs. Uh, so, we're going to fire this thing up. Pull it in the shop and pop the hood off and start working on it. So let's do it. It is in the garage. I have it pulled back like that so I have room to work up front, which is unfortunate because then I can't get it very warm in here. But concrete floor and lights and a roof is nice. So We'll have all the classics in here for a couple days, get this thing running right, and it should be exciting. So stay tuned, thanks for watching, and uh, more to come soon as I learn how to work on this Ford. <laughs> so, wow. 